Say it with me, Jimmy. Black, Black lives, lives matter. matter. Louder, Jimmy. Black, Black lives, lives matter. matter. Louder, Jimmy. Say it so that Mike Pence can hear it. Come along, read on TV about white people getting deducted by aliens, <laughs> sticking all kind of hell up their butt. And that's a <laughs> thing. That ain't gonna be no good time for nobody, <laughs> especially Carl Malone Butt. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny, the woke virtue signalers, former Jeffrey Epstein clientele of Hollywood, threw themselves another gala last night. It's called the Oscars. People used to tune in and watch it, and now people are absolutely sick of these people's Look at the ratings for the Oscars, absolutely plummeting directly through the center of the earth. You wanna know why? Because people are sick of the preening and the virtue signaling from people who don't want a wall for this country, but are happy to build walls around themselves and their mansions for their little award ceremony. Look at this massive wall protected by cops, the cops that they want to defund, surrounding the Oscars. That's right, you're not allowed to ever even glance at the Hollywood elites. Well, until they're good and ready. And when they're good and ready is when they're standing on stage talking about how much they, they have their feelings hurt by Tucker Carlson and his reporting on January 6th. Who's ever received a text message from their father knows how important editing is. Editors <laughs> do amazing things. Editors can turn 44,000 hours of violent insurrection footage mm -hmm. into a respectful sightseeing tour of the Capitol. Ah, uh, yo, got him. Good job, Jimmy. More preening. Try and summarize the experiences of all those who identify as women in one movie would be impossible. Identify as women. Let's erase women entirely. Great job, Oscars. And, of course, who sponsored it all? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. Yeah, all right. So we thought it was very interesting that the Oscars specifically chose Jimmy Kimmel to host, you might recall, three years ago when this event happened on stage. Black Lives Matter. Louder, Jimmy. Ooh. Black Lives Matter. Louder, Jimmy. Say it so that my kids can hear it. Yes, you thought that the Oscars was hosted by Jimmy Kimmel and that he would be safe from our criticism because he has yelled the incantation of the woke Black Lives Matter. He yelled it as loud as he possibly could when he was told to do so, and he did it dutifully. And Jimmy Kimmel, of course, has bent over for every single woke ideology, and that will hopefully whitewash, are you allowed to say that anymore? His history of wearing blackface on television, which he has done multiple times. Just to remind you that all of these people are complete frauds Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Jimmy Kimmel wearing blackface many, many times to get all the LOLs. Sometime at night, Paul Malone look up in sky and say, what the hell going on up there? Do UFO live on other planet, phoning home like E.T.? Paul Malone read on TV about white people getting deducted by aliens, sticking all kind of hell up their butt. And that's a thing. Now. Paul Malone never seen no flying saucer himself, but if he do, that's going to be a spooky time. That's Notice how he's not speaking proper English, uh, so making this doubly racist, along with the full body black face. I mean, this is Justin Trudeau didn't even go full body black. What Paul Malone say? Government got to step up and give 102 percent to keeping them little green man off this here earth, because the day them dudes stick something up, Paul Malone, but. That's go well, that ain't going to be no good time for nobody. Oh, okay. And uh, also some homophobia right there. Okay, good. Fantastic. All right. So homophobia, uh, black people are stupid and can't speak English and uh, black people need to be pantomimed full body by Jimmy Kimmel. Especially Carl Malone, but <laughs> listen up, E.T. You better stay the hell back. Nanu, nanu. Until next time, this year, Carl Malone. Got it. Look, look how they made his legs and arms black. This is full body blackface. Not even Justin Trudeau reached these levels again. And it's not the only time that Jimmy Kimmel made fun of black people. Uh, this time he just made himself a black woman. So sexist as well. My body is my temple. 
That's why I start every morning with a brisk aerobic workout. But I can't do it alone. Workouts are easier when you have a partner. My workout partner is my maid, Marguerite. Marguerite's soft brown stomach protects my knees and ankles from unnecessary wear and tear. Not too much longer, me sopra, okay? Ah! Okay, so her soft brown stomach. So, okay, you have, you have the multiple levels of racism and also fat phobia here, body shaming by Jimmy Kimmel. Just a reminder that Jimmy Kimmel is himself a massive fraud. That means shut up in Spanish. 15 minutes a day is all you need to get your heart rate up to wait. Please, Miss Sopra, you're crushing my... Oh. Sorry, Miss Sopra. Remember, ladies, strong mind, strong body. I'm Oprah Jinfrey. Good. Okay, so you have him appearing in a fat suit and a black suit. Got it. All right, so this is the person that you choose to do your woke Hollywood awards ceremony, and no wonder the awards are in panic time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, according to Axios, by the numbers, viewership for the award shows has plummeted and social media era fans now have multiple ways to find out who won major categories. Once known as Hollywood Super Bowl, the Oscars used to draw 40 million viewers. But the last two years, they've drawn less than 20 million, cut in half. Even with the ever shrinking audience, it's still an important revenue driver for ABC because even though audiences have declined, ABC has jacked up the amount of money they're charging for ads. It's the most expensive non-sports ads buy, costing advertisers more than $2 million for a 30-second commercial, bringing it around $125 million in revenue. But it's not going to stem the tide. Awards shows are going the way of the dinosaur. After airing for 25 years on cable, the SAG Awards moved to Netflix. The Country Music Awards have moved to Amazon. Golden Globes are trying to find a new home. Uh, but are going to be leaving NBC after 27 years. And TV contracts for the Emmys, Grammys, Tonys all run out through 2026. The Oscars deal expires in 20, uh, 2028. So we'll, we'll, I mean, I think those deals are rather unbreakable. So you'll see the Oscars on TV, I guess, for the next few years. But we did, I guess, if you're going to give Jimmy Kimmel uh, any plaudits for last night at the woke Oscars, he did make a joke about Hunter Biden, I suppose. This is my favorite duo of the year, Steven Spielberg and Seth Rogen. What a pair. The Joe and Hunter Biden of Hollywood. Hilarious. Okay, so they all know the end is nigh. They see the ratings and they know that people are just absolutely done with the preening and they are done with the virtue signaling, and they are done being lectured to by these people who every single one of them has a sex dungeon with skeletons in it from their days with Jeffrey Epstein sitting there in their Beverly Hills mansions. We know that these people are complete and total frauds, and we are sick of it, and people are tuning out by the multi-millions. Ladies and gentlemen, no amount of Jimmy Kimmel jokes about Hunter Biden can save that. Go woke, go broke. It's your boy, Benny. Jimmy Kimmel wears blackface to make fun of black people and fat people and dumb people. Got it? Now go worship him all over again with your little golden statue, because that's always worked out in history. My name is Benny. See ya. Thank you for watching our channels here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.